Hello everyone, welcome back. Look at the humidity that is Georgia. It's like, what? Anyways, I just got back from the grocery store. We did most of the shopping at Aldi this week. And then I had to stop at Food Lion to pick up one thing because Aldi doesn't sell the creamer that I like. So, I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna share everything I purchased for you. Okay, so this is everything here that I purchased today. Um, we'll start here, I guess. Butter. So, sweet cream butter. I don't really know if I need this or not. Um, figured it would be good to have it either way. Um, I was thinking about making some bread this week. And some of the rolls that I like to make um, need butter. Because you'll see I'm making a pulled pork. So I figured we'd have barbecue pork sandwiches one day. And then maybe I'll just make the rolls to go with them. Because I definitely did not buy any. Um... And then I saw this, never had it, figured I would give it a try. I really like root beer, so I don't know. Have you had it? Let me know down below. Uh, ricotta cheese, another plan for the week. We're going to make strum, no, we're not making strumbly. We're going to make calzones, and so we need ricotta. And that's why I bought this Italian-style one. I don't like just regular mozzarella. I don't know, I feel like that's too strong for my allergies just like regular mozzarella really gets to me so i don't mind the italian uh goat cheese i've been really into goat cheese and i saw the honey one i was like oh you know i was thinking about putting honey on my goat cheese when i was having goat cheese and crackers today actually maybe i'll just try the one that's already goat cheese and honey got some spreadable butter because we are out lorenzo loves his american cheese so we got some american like I said, barbecue pork. I'm gonna put that in the um, instant pot for slow cook. And then we're gonna have barbecue pork sandwiches one night. And then the next night we're gonna have pulled pork fries. So two meals in one. Two things of chicken breasts. These were on sale this week for $2.29 at Aldi. And I figured we would grill up some chicken and have some chicken sandwiches and some things like that this week for dinner. Uh, orange juice. We are going to make some sangria this weekend, maybe this weekend, I don't know, but I figured we needed orange juice to go with it. Heavy whipping cream back here. Uh, I am going to make Alfredo. I'm probably going to make shrimp Alfredo tonight. Then the boys, they like their juice. They like fruit punch and strawberry kiwi. They normally buy one of those each every week. Oat milk, just to have some milk in the house. Come back down here. Italian style cheese, we already shared that. Parmesan. This is for the Alfredo. Gouda. I was thinking for the chicken sandwiches. And Swiss maybe for the chicken sandwiches. I don't know. I thought the Gouda was a really good price. It was like $1.29 for that package. So that's why I figured I would give it a try. Coleslaw. That'll go with both of the pulled pork options for the week. Creamer. This is why we went to... Food Lion. I need creamer. I really need to go to Costco, but now that we moved, Costco is not, like, across the street anymore. Yeeks. So, um, yeah. Broccoli. The broccoli will go with the, uh, shrimp alfredo. And then we, we'll go over the, veg, the fruits back there. We got nectarines. Okay, we got nectarines and oranges and apples. Those are some of the fruits for the kids this week figured I would throw in maybe some of these little mandarins in the sangria, maybe even slices of oranges, and that's what the limes are for too. Onions, I figured I would make some pickled onions this week too. They would go good with the pulled pork, maybe the chicken sandwiches. We really like pickled red onions. Got some lettuce. This lettuce is good on sandwiches. That's why I bought it. Um, we went to where did we go? We went to Ikea this week, and Ikea has like the best chocolate hazelnut chocolate bars, and they didn't have them. So I was like, oh, maybe these are like Ikea? I don't know, we'll give them a try. Just bought some ham when I was at Food Lion 2. Ham sandwiches there too for the kids. And then, uh, I guess we'll finish up this area. Pepperoni, that is for the calzones. Honey buns, those are for the kids to eat for a quick snack. Um, Chicken fries and chicken tenders, those are easy lunches. French fries, those are for the pulled pork fries. Shrimp down here is for the 
Shrimp Alfredo. All these did not have that many options of raw, peeled, deveined, and tail off. That's the way we like our shrimp. I don't want my tails trying to eat like a shrimp Alfredo. So this is what I always look for. We have Pop-Tarts, strawberry, brown gravy, no reason. Have it in the house. Uh, green peas. These I'm gonna make a sausage risotto this week. And ooh, there we go, breaking stuff. Sausage risotto, and we like peas in it. And I believe that's what this canned diced tomatoes here are for it too. It's not like a specific recipe, it's just something that I made up. Marinara sauce, I think we'll use that for the calzones. Ooh, I was thinking with the chicken sandwiches, I forgot some stuff here. I would make potato salad, and I love my potato salad with bacon. It's one of my favorite things. And I figured we would have potato salad with it. Uh, Aldi picked up some root beer too. Nothing special, just root beer. Kids like these for their water. I like this brand better than Mio because obviously no food dye. If you watched any of my prior videos, you know we are a no food dye family. Um, oatmeal cookies. Kids picked these cookies for the week. Um, we said fries. Kids picked these for breakfast for one day this week also. Here's the fettuccine for the shrimp fettuccine. These, they were a three pack at Aldi, these loofahs for um, $2.99, so like a buck a piece. And once we moved, I did not move our loofahs either, so we don't have any. So I thought these would be good for us now. And then, oh, bean burritos. These will be good for our lunches for um, Xavier and the kids. And then here is the deal of the day. This uh, Waterloo Ginger Twist root, uh, water, 12 cents. They were 12 cents a can. And then they had one all day rose. Figured we'd give that one a try too. Obviously non alcoholic, but 12 cents a can. I was like, you can't go wrong with that price. And so, yeah, I think I spent like 150 at Aldi and then like less than 20 at Food Lion. And this should feed us for the week. So tonight I'm going to make shrimp alfredo with broccoli. Tomorrow maybe it'll be like the pulled pork and the pulled pork with the coleslaw. And then the next day it'll be pulled pork fries with the coleslaw. Then uh, sausage risotto will be the next day I believe. What is that, Tuesday, Monday? Tuesday, I think we're gonna have calzones. Oh, I think I gotta switch it up because I don't know about calzones like in the middle of the week. Maybe calzones will be Sunday. Um, and then grilled chicken sandwiches for the other couple days of the week. I was thinking of making bread too to make like a grilled chicken Caesar sandwich like a long time ago. Um, I used to go to this restaurant and I used to eat a grilled chicken Caesar sandwich. And it was so good and I dream about that all the time. Anyways, this is um, our grocery haul for the week.